watched uh, G-Man's fluoride video and I just wanted to throw in my support and opinion. Uh, I, I do the coconut baking soda lemon toothpaste, which I like, we like, our family likes it a lot. And water, absolutely, without a doubt, I will either try to find fresh spring water or I drink distilled water. And I drink a gallon of water a day and it was the major, major reason why I was able to heal myself of all the things that were wrong with me after uh, the after my coma, you know, my heart problems and everything. So I'm a big believer in water, water, and more water. Water is probably the most powerful force, I think, on the planet when it comes to healing and cleansing, without a doubt. Uh, so if you want to, and I should have told you this, these you guys this before, my bad. Uh, all of you guys that have uh, uh, issues, pain issues, and uh, any kind of chronic health problems, you really should do the water thing. I suggest either fresh spring water that you collect, like G-Man said, or uh, distilled water. Uh, I can taste the plastic in the bottles from all the rest of that bottled water. The distilled water, um, I can't taste it, and I especially just ask the taste to be taken away before I drink it, and the water will delete it for me. Uh, then <coughs> what you can do is you can ask, or right on the side of the distilled water, that you want it to help cure your body of fill in the blanks. And uh, I'm a bit, unless, unless medical field has told you that a gallon of water is contraindicated uh, I'm not going to get into that business uh, but unless you've got that issue where you're not supposed to have too much water I'm a big believer in a gallon of water a day will make everything bad go away oh that was a poem I made a I made a poem and didn't even mean to yay good new poem so, yeah, I'm a big believer in that. So, anybody that's having pain or health issues, why don't you give that a go? And uh, see if that doesn't help you. Give it a... Uh, you should feel, probably within three days, you should feel a tremendous difference. But after 30 days, you'll be amazed. So, yeah, I still drink water in my not eating thing. And just a heads up to everybody I'm traveling and visiting, I absolutely do eat. And I certainly eat where there is love in the preparation because the love in the preparation and being grateful for the beings that are have given themselves for that preparation, it's all done in love and it's definitely worth eating at that point. It's just that uh, any other way is not really worth my time. Okay, so if that's a concern for anybody out there, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Um, if you're preparing food for me, especially if I can do it with you, that'd be fun. Then it will be wonderful because the, I will taste the love. The love will be infused into the food. Okay? Or any place that we go to that you really love, same thing. That, that love is felt. And uh, everything is perfect going into my system when there's love that, that permeates all of the food. Okay? All right, so short and sweet, just wanted to give my two cents on that and remind any of you, hello, puppy. I have puppies all over the place. Uh, remind you guys to definitely, really, water is key, and it will heal a lot of things. And, yeah, you've got to know that since uh, marijuana was taken off and made illegal, I believe it was made illegal around the world because the United States says, said, well, we're not going to support you unless you make it illegal. We're not going to interact with you. We're, you know, there's no, not going to be any exchange. We're going to be your enemy if you don't support our, our anti-marijuana laws. And I believe that that was started because of uh, plastic, that they wanted to replace all the hemp ropes. So that's when they came up with the whole, you know, marijuana is a drug that will drive you crazy baloney so that the people who were making money with plastic could replace all the hip ropes on ships if i remember my history and right but in construction yeah there was a, there was a lot of stuff that really had more to do with the hemp getting rid of the hemp than anything about worried about 
marijuana, but marijuana itself, as everybody knows, is almost a miracle cure for countless, countless things. So, of course, they don't want you to have that. That would ruin a lot of, uh, well, if it could cure <laughs> all those things, the medical field would be in trouble, wouldn't it? And we can't have that at all. Pharmaceutical companies would be in really big trouble. So, yeah, we can kind of figure out that story pretty quickly. So, anyway, enough of that. Uh, another short but sweet. And uh, I've got Stephanie over here with a handful of information she's going to show me. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Huge hugs. Love you so much. And bye now. Whoa, dropped it. Dropped it. Hello, I'm back again. Goodbye again.